I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Sightings in and around Vermont. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported. Red glowing eyes, about seven feet tall. Red eyes, big old fang claws coming out through, three inches long, you know, just sharp as they could be. There has been another UFO sighting flying over the Royal Botanic Gardens. There are 500 UFO sightings in the world every month. The truth is out there. Oh, so here's a, an event that I did on uh, Thursday. Is So I, it's summer and I'm a sweaty boy and I get frustrated with my glasses because I get sweat on them and they slide down mm -hmm. my face. Yep, yep. So I went to get uh, measured for contacts. Oh, okay. And That's the fun. doctor was a little bit too into what he does because he was definitely horny for eyes. And and by that I mean like he he it's he was the kind of person where I couldn't tell if he was telling me the same speech he's told the last fifty people mm -hmm. or if that's just how he talks. Yeah. And it was very weird. And um at the end of it, I'm I'm gonna try to slowly remember exactly what he said and, and get as close as I can. But the mm -hmm. last thing he said to me, because um Oh, I don't even want to start the last thing. I'll start in the middle. So he, mm -hmm. they measured the eyes, and he was telling me about all the stuff, and, and it was interesting yeah. learning about that. And then he said, so this machine here, when we measured you, that's 99.5% accurate, but that's mm -hmm. not good enough for you. Your brain is what sees the world, and your brain is what talks to the eyes and makes you happy. So we have to make <laughs> sure you're going to be happy. And then they did the whole, like, A or B. A, like, which one's better? A or B shit? What? Yeah. yeah. I was like, hold up, man. Hold up. I appreciate well, that... you're into what you do, but this is a little bit much. Uh, so before you move on, where did yeah. you go? I went to Lens Crafters. Lens this... Crafters did this? Yeah, in the mall. Dr. Brown, to be fair, he's my favorite one now. So I'm just going to keep uh, going okay. there because he's a little bit weird and too into it, and that's my deal. And... Um... <laughs> So it's that, a little bit weird and a little bit too into it, but you know what? That's me. Hey, so if someone's taking care of you, if they're a mechanic or something, you want them to be like a little too into it where it's a little weird because you know they're going to do you right. Uh, you know, you're not wrong. You don't want the guy that's over this shit. You want the one who's still like too into it. Um, the last thing he said to me, because he put the lenses in. Um, I don't have them now. They, they won't give them to you until you go to like a training course. So I have to go to a training on like Friday. You have to go to an, a contact training course? So they won't give them to you until they know you can put them in. So I have to, like, go and put oh. them in. And he's like, practice touching your eye like this for a while. And I was like, all right, fine, I guess. Oh. Um, but the last thing he said, because he was saying, um, here's my eyes now. And then he's doing, here's what normal people. He's basically just putting letters up on a thing. And he said, can you read this? Can you read this? So he put them yeah. up and he said, this is what normal people can see. This is 2020. This is 20 feet away. You should be able to read this. And mm -hmm. then he put up some other words. And he said, can you read that? I said, yeah, they read off the letters. He goes, okay, so that's uh, 2025. We're like, this is better than average. Um, normal people can't see this. So then he put more up on the screen. And then mm -hmm. he's like, can you read this? Rattled that shit off perfect. And he said, most people should not be able to see this. And then he put even smaller things on the screen. And I, and I rattled that off. And he's like, nobody should be able to read that ever. And I was like... Okay, dope. Like, so I'm just happy with the prescription. And then he was like, it's not okay to take advantage of other people. But if you have an advantage over other people, it is okay to use it. Like, he's giving me fucking superpowers or some shit. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Is this like... Is this like the boys? Are you in the boys universe now? I have heard about... My IT guy told me about it, and I have not seen that yet. Oh, uh, Brandon. But is it a cartoon, or is it like an... Uh, no. No, it's, okay. It's, it's live action. I think and I'm going to try to watch this with somebody. There's a... Good. There's... Is it okay. like... It's a superhero type deal, right? Yes, but different. It's superheroes if they were owned by corporations. Okay. And... There's one scene in it yeah. that I can't describe without it being a spoiler. Yes. And not because it's a spoiler for literally any plot points, is this but like, because it is... This is like why you can't explain uh, Promise Neverland to anybody because any descriptor is a spoiler type of thing? Pretty much. Okay. And it's legitimately 
the funniest scene oh. I have ever seen in a TV show ever. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, well, no, I know exactly what it is because it was like one of those scenes where it's just like everything leading up to it, it was the perfect punchline. Yeah. And then they get, they hit you with a brick joke later <laughs> about the scene, and it's just like, oh my god, this is oh, amazing. Man. I have to check the scent of the boys. I need. A, I just need a show to watch. I don't watch a lot of stuff as much as I used to, but I need to watch some good stuff. The boys is good. I, yeah. I highly recommend the boys. Okay. Um, what, what, there's some really great lines in it. It's also hyper hyper violent. Oh, okay. Uh, to say it's violent is an understatement. That's my um, kind this of deal. Is... That's not everyone's kind of deal. That's I, I like, I like, I like it. Right? If it's medium violent, I don't like it because then it's too realistic. I'm like, oh, you're yeah. hurting them. If it's cr- like over the top, I'm like, hell yeah, nice. So, nice. just for for reference, this is not a spoiler because yeah. it's literally in the trailer. So unless you, if if you haven't seen the trailer for the boys and you want to go in blind. Close your ears, I guess. Okay. But, but. I'm wearing in-ear monitors. Yeah, I know. It's going to be tr- <laughs> tricky for you. Yeah. Um. But. But. The event that triggers the whole show. Yes. A speedster blows a woman, blows through a woman going top speed. Oh, damn. Okay. And that's, okay. that, that, that sets the, the tone yeah. of the show. Um, damn. It's about as awful as you would expect. Oh, good. Because, like, because think about it. You're think about a car hitting a person. Yeah. Now imagine if it's something going, uh, like a mock speed, and it's the size of a person. Just think about all of that energy directed at a single point. Tracy Morgan was hit by a Walmart truck, and he's doing okay now. Well, that's Tracy Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have anything else to say other yeah. than that's Tracy Morgan. That's true. Um, that's true. I have one other thing. Yes. Uh, the reason why I didn't realize that my Skype wasn't logged in is because they made a new version of my boy. Oh. Oh, it's, damn, John. Okay, it's a boy. look at that. That's it's a cheat boy. whore we're looking at right now. That's a real yeah. world cheat whore. Yeah, let me give you a brief, uh, a brief review for my mini podcast. Uh, where John talks about stuff people don't want to hear about. You should um, just make that an actual mini podcast, though. I should. Yeah. Uh, so, neat toy, cool homage, crap articulation, not really playful, like like yeah. not a really good play toy, weird posing. Weird posing? Okay. Weird posing. Um from my perspective, unless you're a Beast Wars fan and you like Cheetor, not worth the the price of entry. Yeah. But if you like Cheetor, worth the price of entry. Okay. Psh. <laughs> Psh. Dope. He also he also comes inexplicably with a battleship. <laughs> <laughs> and that battleship plugs yeah. into his back, like so. Uh huh. And let me get this on let me get this on a uh, microphone because everyone loves my toy sounds. And then the top flips over like this. And then kaboom, he's got two gigantic arms for no good reason. <laughs> I don't know. That's perfect. It's a it's a weird toy. The there's nothing it has no like homage to other things yeah. about Cheetor. And bizarrely, the ship has the maximal symbol on it, mm-hmm. which is the bat like looking thing. Yeah. And Cheetor himself has the Autobot logo. Hmm. I don't know. Weird yeah. stuff. Weird combo. Somebody, I, I think the person who's in charge of Hasbro's like toy development team doesn't actually like Beast Wars. Yeah, but that's a whole other thing. He doesn't. He doesn't get them. Last yeah. I heard. And oh, you know okay. what? He can come at me if he wants. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll fight him on it. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll take. I'll take control of uh, Transformers. Uh, development for a little bit yeah and show them the power of beast wars okay <laughs> i'll do it i have no experience i have no qualifications but i can do it better than them i know it <laughs> and for those of you who Whoa. don't know what sarcasm yeah. is <laughs> yeah i'm sorry if i'm being i got a hair like a, 
a a a shape up. I see the haircut. And sp- no, it's not a haircut though. I got that like a few weeks ago, but it's still yeah. looking decent. I just went to a different spot than I usually go because I was like, man, it's just mm-hmm. getting gnarly. I just need something to be cleaned up. And it was surprisingly surprising well because I usually go to uh, my boy Antonio. Yeah. And uh, but I was like, man, I don't have that kind of time right now. So I just after work stuff by uh, Paris has a style. Uh, by recommendation mm-hmm. of my favorite bouncer, and uh, it's surprisingly well. I didn't have any high expectations, um, mm-hmm. and I was a little bit nervous at first, and it's going to sound weird, but it was like a very young, very short white girl, and I was like, we'll just see how this is going to go, and surprisingly well. still looking good, like, weeks later. It's, like, these. Nice. I'm happy. <laughs> I, so, all right. Yeah. I'll save this for next episode if I remember it. Yeah. Um, I, I was, I was listening. Yes. It still looks very good. No, I'm just looking at the back of my head. Cause I can't do that all the time. And I've got the webcam right here. <laughs> no, I, it's still, I it's holding up pretty well. It's I put, I, I just fresh out of the shower and I never get to see the back of my head. So yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I got distracted by something I had an email about. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, it's weird. It's weird. So, <laughs> They tell you I'm happy I have a, a decent back of the head that I, I had a real talk with my barber and I was like, hey, if my forehead just starts growing, take it all. Yeah, I remember yeah. you telling me that. Like, you had a a, a sit-down conversation. Yeah. Can you just tilt your webcam down a little bit? It's bothered. Like, it, it's hold on, let me take a screenshot and show you. Oh, what, I see. I see. Yeah, I'm like it's kinda... like I'm talking to a toddler. Well, because <laughs> the problem is I am a toddler, first of all. Um, second of all, I was also uh, doing that thing I do when I work and just yeah. kind of like... I slowly, I slowly melt into my chair as I'm working, um, and I become the guy from uh, that one episode of South Park. Oh, I know who you're talking uh, about. He who the has World no of life. Warcraft episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy who has no life. I slowly become him as I work. <laughs> yeah. um, usually, not the best thing because let's be real. There's a real risk of me falling asleep when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a, f- a statement of fact. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think is is my my <clears throat> webcam good now? Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. <laughs> uh, That's funny. Oh man! And uh, I should explain for those who might be new uh, that welcome to Cryptopedia, an exploration of the myths and legends that haunt the human mind. Each week. We'll take you on a journey exploring the mysteries of the world, tackling the tales of monsters, folklore, the paranormal, and that thing that definitely lives under your bed. We also have intros that don't tell you any information about our show for the first ten minutes. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and that's just a fact of the life. That's just a fact. That's that's really, we open by catching up, and that's what's up. Yeah, I, I, that's, that's legitimately (laughs) what happens. Yeah. Um, and most of it is, is... Just general insanity. Yeah. You know, it, talking... Out, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just, no, that's random, fine. That's... Random thoughts pop in and out, and that's what I do. You know who I saw walking down the road yesterday, and it's like, I should just text him, because I haven't seen him in a while. Tom Hill. Oh, what? I he was, was walk- You saw him walking down the what road? I was driving home, and I passed him. Uh, I'm not even going to say the name of the street, but uh, I just yeah, passed that's him fair. on my way home, walking <laughs> south from that's, Uptown, that's is all I'm going to say. I was like, yeah. man, that guy looks a lot like Tom. And I was like, that's Tom! That's Tom! And that's hilarious, considering the fact that he made the art for the show. Oh, yeah. So if anyone doesn't know, he, yeah. he did the art for the show. Uh, so that's why I was like, hey, it's Tom! Because, like, we, we know him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. The... Uh... What you're gonna when you said uh, sorry for cutting you off? Yeah. That's literally how we work. That's exactly how we. Yeah, that's how it Cause, is. Because here's that's the thing. Is. Here's the thing. We're oh, we 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 operate on cutting each other off. Oh, if yeah. we didn't cut each other off, we weren't having. We're not having a real conversation. Oh yeah, we're people <laughs> you can't have a normal conversation with. No, both because of topic and because we'll start at the beginning and then as things were occurred like. As we remember shit, we're just going to, that's where we're jumping to. That's where we're yep. going right now. And so that's, we'll have a full conversation completely out of order. It makes sense to us. But yeah. There, there's a reason why we write scripts for the episodes. That is very true. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> yeah, so, we try, I tried that for a few episodes. <laughs> Didn't work out so great. Yeah. Didn't work out so great. 
there's I remember early on I was like I had a full script and then I saw what you had I was like wow he's working off bullet points now yeah, yeah. I, well I was doing that because I was like oh I could probably do bullet points I, I yeah. spent enough time with the subject matter yeah. but regardless we are at 15 minutes and you haven't oh. told me what yeah. you research for this episode so this week's creature lives okay. in America it All right. first appeared around 1996, and it is still Ooh. seen today. Do you have any guesses? And unfortunately, there's no like state or specific spot of occurrence, mm. or else I would have provided that information. See, 96, that's that's when ska bands were roaming the, the plains. I saw a ska show the other day, but I'm not going to do that because we're already 15 minutes in. Oh, man, you got to tell me about it. It was Hub City Central or something like that. They were at Snappers. They were at Snappers? Yeah. Best punk ba- ska, punk ska band of 1996. All right, I'm going to use this as my guess. Uh, let's see. Goes to Millennium Millen Colin on Epitaph and Burning Hearts Records. Ska punk. I have literally never heard of Millie Colin before. No, it's well, it's not Millie Colin. This week's topic is Black Eyed Kids. Oh, I'm diverging from my normal that? European folklore, man. Yeah, it's been a while. I, like that's been on our list forever. Yeah, like I was ninety six. I thought they were around before that. It's if you go by creepypasta, they could have been before around before that. Oh, if you well, go by like the first time someone wrote about it, that'd, that'd okay. be like ninety six. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> black eyed kids are. I, so, fun story about Black Eyed Kids. The first time I found out about Black Eyed Kids was on the yeah. uh, Game FAQ's message oh, board. okay. Uh, Paranormal Conspiracy. Yeah. They weren't the thing that freaked me out. No? Was it the no, poster? N- it was the person. It was the person. Huh? No, no. The thing that freaked me out was shadow people. Shadow people. When that- I first... Oh, God. Hold up. Hold- wait, 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 wait. We're waiting. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, I have to navigate my file structure mm-hmm. and go into Cryptopedia topics. Nope, that's the wrong yep, folder. Yep. Cryptopedia stuff, because I'm a good namer. And guess what? I'm just going to write shadow people. I forgot about that. <clears throat> yeah, that's fair. The first no. time I saw or heard about shadow people, it was on uh, Ghost Hunters Taps. Yeah. And yeah. that freaked me out so hard, because they were like, they set up lasers in like a smoke machine on a bridge and yeah. they had the whole aesthetic and uh, they're like if you can see a laser dot interacting with something that means it's a shadow person because it's hitting a surface that's not really there and uh, now me knows hey eh not really but then yeah. me was like what the fuck am I watching right now demons are real I don't know anything yeah 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 I mean <laughs> I, I still think my favorite like piece of pseudoscience yeah from anything ever was like the connect in paranormal activity 2 which is what that reminds me of yeah where they set up like the connect and it has like the the array or whatever and yeah it's like oh there's something there yeah <laughs> then they parodied it in uh that one that one movie um that i can't remember the name of but it was really bizarre yeah Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, you, you remember. You just I'll start talk reading. About stuff. I'm I'll talk about stuff. So black-eyed kids resemble children mm-hmm. between the ages of 6 and 16 with black eyes, and they're extremely pale. They're usually hitchhiking or knocking on the door of your house. These kids will try to get you to open your car door or the door to your house by knocking on it and claiming that they need help. They will frequently ask for your phone, but they need your permission to enter first. What is widely considered the first account of Black Eyed Kids happened uh, to a journalist in Abilene, Texas, named Brian Bethel, and he posted it into a web forum. It's extremely long, so I redacted, I wrote a bit, I redacted significantly. I redacted so, a significant amount. Um, I, I found out about something recently. Yeah. Uh, when you When you basically create a story about something you encountered on the internet and post it to, like, Reddit. Yeah. I didn't know that it was called this, but a common term for it now yeah. is LARPing. LARPing. Yes. Now, now That's it's, not it's what LARPing com- means to me. No, but but people have been calling it LARPing. Lately. Live action role play. What's LARP mean yes. in the context of this? The well, they're, they're, they're role playing. Uh, they're, they're role playing, but they're pretending you. that their life yeah. is this. I mean, it's not the same as a LARP, which there's... 
a lot you can say about that. There's actually a book about LARPing. Yeah. And I say that because I know the author. Oh, good. Um, his name's David Simpkins, and I took a course with him. It's called The Arts of LARP. Yeah. Um, if you're at all interested in LARP, I definitely recommend it. And the reason I recommend it is because this man, I think, is the only person who has a doctorate in LARPing. Oh, good. You know, also, to, yeah, crazy intelligent dude. Okay. Yeah. I that, that's it. Yeah. Super, I'm not going to lie. Like, I want to LARP, but they, I don't want to drive, like, that far. But I just wish they, like, look, because that seems fun. And then Red Fang has a music video where there's, like, a lot of LARPing, and that's just fun, except someone brings real swords, and then it gets messy. Oh, well, that's that's probably the point of the music video, right? Uh, Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, Bethel wrote on his post to a web forum, uh, I say what it is from, or, or, like, later down in script, but it's not even around anymore. It was, like archived and then like way back machined and then like google saved it somewhere good lord it was it was just like a how is this still around from that it's kind from of the internet. crypts it's, yeah you had to you had to to break out the tape yeah it's from the dark times of the internet yeah i remember the dark times oh yeah <laughs> that's all i can say okay so he he writes my internet service provider used to have offices in a shopping center before they moved their accommodations elsewhere. There was a drop box at the original location. My monthly bill was due for the grace of the net I went. He, this is when they <laughs> called it the net. Oh, God. Yeah, this is... this is So the way this is being written is totally... It, it's totally the way that people would write in the 90s and early aughts oh, yeah. on the internet. Like... It, oh, yeah. It, 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 it's such a... It's such a style of writing that's gone. For it, for good, hopefully. For yeah, hopefully yeah. for good. But like, I it makes me nostalgic, right? Okay, yeah. Um, I also definitely recognize this story now that you've started it. So, oh, okay. Yes, I, I've I've definitely well, because because the thing is, I was I trolled the the game FAQs boards yeah. paranormal conspiracy uh -huh. a lot when I was uh, younger. Yeah. So. This story definitely appeared as, like, a copy pasta type oh, thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was about 9.30 p.m. when he left from my apartment. It's about 10 or 15 minutes downtown. Abilene, by the way, has a population of 110,000 people, at least at the time. Right next to the Camelot, Camelot Communications old location oh is my a God. $1.50 theater. At the time, the place was featuring <laughs> that masterwork of modern film, Mortal Kombat. So this is so where we are in time. So this was this was a uh, this is directly what he wrote, right? This is ex this is his original post with me deleting out a whole bunch of stuff. Where I was like, why would you even write that? That doesn't have anything to do with anything. Uh, to be honest, I only left the movie theater thing in because that's the location where it happened. Uh, the Mortal Kombat, the film was so good. Don't talk shit. Well, I mean, I was about to say that. Uh, what's his name? The, I liked it. It was good. The guy with the four arms. Yeah. Um, Oh, oh, what's, what's his, his name? name? Not Goro. No, Gorgo's me. Uh, I think it is Goro. It, yeah, Goro. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, it's Goro. His the the practical effects that he used for his arm was actually kind of cool. I like that whole movie. I'm not even gonna lie, because it had a whole feel like um, what was it? Baddest Boss or whatever that Bruce Lee movie where he uh, he tried to get to the top of the tower, which is unfortunately, I believe, also the movie where he died. Um, yeah, that that movie's weird. Like. <laughs> Because they'll have scenes with him, and it's like Bruce Lee doing his his traditional kung fu, and yeah. then it will it will cut to him like facing away from the camera. Oh, just from behind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still I love all Bruce Lee movies. They're just good. They're yeah. just good. That that movie's weird though because it actually shows a pic, like images from his real funeral. So yeah, that's that's the strange bit. Yeah. So I drove by the theater on the way to the center proper and pulled into an empty parking space using the glow of the marquee to write out my check. I was startled to hear a knock on the driver's side window of my car. I looked over and saw two children staring at me from the street. I need to describe them with one feature that I didn't realize until about halfway through the conversation. Both appeared to be in that stage of life of children uh, 
where you can't exactly tell their age. Both were boys, and my initial impression was that they were somewhere between 10 and 14. Uh, I'm going to stop you for a second. Yes. I can't tell the age of a human being from 0 to 150. I, so Basically, unless you're 30, I don't know how old you are. Even then... Even then, I am so bad at, at guessing people's age. There's still people where, like, um, Big Mike, um, at, like, Snappers is, like, 26 or something. Like, like just, like, what? way young. Like, there's just a guy who's real big and looks like he's 34. And then it's like, you're younger than me. Wow. Like, there's just some people who age weird. You know what the, the worst part about getting older is? What? There's more people who are younger than me every year. Yeah. And I hate it. There's a lot of people that were like, they're probably cool, but I'll just be sitting somewhere and people will come in and I'll be like, some babies just walked in. And also like some babies just walked in. They'll still be like, oh, you can be like 23. I'm like, look at this infant. <laughs> I-, I saw someone post that like about someone who was 33 on yeah. Reddit the other day. They were like, you are a child because they were like, <laughs> they were like 50. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about perspective. Yeah, although I'm finally at that stage in life where I'm talking to people about stuff, and it it's and this has happened in within like the last couple of weeks where I'll be talking and they'll be like, "You're so young, though." Where there's like, "Oh, you're just an old man now. You're just turning. You're just old. It's starting." <laughs> just like, "Oh no, oh, no, God. I don't want it to be starting." It happens. It happened. I had a back pain for no reason the other day for the first time. Oh, uh, welcome to the club. Like, I didn't do anything stupid. Like, I knew why I couldn't inhale and lean to the left, because that was the slip and slide. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I was hurt real good. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting it. Well, well, the first thing you did was flop yourself onto the slip and slide, so... <laughs> it was a belly flop onto the ground. Yeah, yeah, I had a bruise for several weeks. That was very bad. That's not good. And then I also couldn't. I think I I injured a rib because I for real couldn't breathe in and lean left. I think that's an injured rib. That's yeah. usually not great. Yeah. So I was like, that made sense to me. I was like, okay, I understand these pains. <laughs> weeks later, like, I got a lot of sleep. I did nothing but like, I did nothing all day. No yard work, no anything. And I was at work and it's like, man, my back's killing me. And then I realized how it oh, starts. I'm, I'm, death has started. Mm-hmm. I'm just That's dying. I'm actively dying as we speak. Yep. Rotting from yeah. the inside out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boy number one was the spokesman. Boy mm-hmm. number two didn't speak during the entire conversation. At least not in words. So Boy we num- didn't speak. Yes, we didn't speak. Okay, uh, good. Boy just, number one. Sure. Oh, yeah, no, he just doesn't talk. Boy number one was slightly taller than his companion, wearing a pullover hooded shirt with a gray checked pattern on the jeans. I couldn't see his shoes. His skin was olive-colored, and he had curly, medium-length brown hair. He exuded an air of quiet confidence. Boy number two had pale skin with a trace of freckles. His primary characteristic seemed to be looking around nervously. He was dressed in a similar manner to his companion with a pullover light green color. Wow, this dude remembers a lot of very specific details yeah. about two children. Either that's because he's a journalist or because he's bullshitting because when events like this happen, people don't have recall like they think they do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, his hair was short and pale orange. They didn't appear to be related, at least directly. Oh, great, I thought. They're going to hit me up for money. And then the air changed. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's why, that's it's why water you gotta get them now. I can't filters. breathe. It's water. The air's yeah. turned into water. Uh, so there I was filling up my check in my car, which was still running, and in a sudden panic over the appearance of two little boys, I was confused, but overwhelming, uh, an overwhelming sense of fear and unearthiness uh, rushed in nonetheless. The spokesman smiled, and <laughs> in the sight of some inexplicable... Ah, words are hard, man. In they the sight... Hard for some inexplicable reason, chilled my blood. I could feel the flight or res- flight or fight responses kicking in. Something I knew instinctually was not right, but I didn't know what it could possibly be. I mean, usually if a child talks to me, I do get a fight or oh, yeah. flight response. No, that's so. the proper response. Yeah, that's I think, fair. I think they're just reacting to a child at this point, because oh, yeah. quite frankly, children 
Children are weird. Kid, yeah, children are weird. I rolled down the window very slightly and asked, Yes? The spokesman <laughs> smiled. <laughs> Do you have Grey Poupon? <laughs> Do you have that Grey Poupon? The spokesman smiled again, broader this time. His teeth were very, very white. Hey, mister, what's up? We have a problem, he said. His voice was that of a young man, but his diction quiet and calm. Something I still couldn't put my finger on. <laughs> Made my desire to flee even greater. You see, my friend and I want to see the films, but we forgot our money, he continued. We need to go to our house and get it. Want to help us out? His command okay. of the language was incredible. Now, I Wait, don't think what? thus far he's showing any incredible amount of, like... No. S- yeah. Hey, mister. Can we go? We want to see the movie. Can you help us out? Yeah. Our house is over there. That's oh, literally yeah. all he said. It's not like, hey, mister, we'd like to discuss the pros and cons of the Venturi effect in a scholarly fashion. Like, he mm, didn't, yes. like, yeah. I want to, I want to, let's, let's now, then we'll talk about the plight of the proletariat. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not coming out of this kid's mouth. No, he, yeah. everything he said is something that I would expect a 10 to 14 year old to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he showed no signs of fear. He spoke as if my help was a foregone conclusion. When he grinned, it was as if he was trying to say, I know something, and you're not going to like it. But the only way you're going to find out what it is uh, will be to do what I say. Oh, well, was the best reply I could offer. (laughs) Wow. I mean, getting stumped by children's not difficult. Yeah. They they come out of left field sometimes. Mm. Like, why is the sky blue? I mean, I can explain that, but... Then they ask like even weirder questions like why don't you ever come over and yada yada yada. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now here's where it starts to get strange. I the, mean, it's the level of imp- it, like the level that you're respecting these children is already strange, but okay. Oh yeah, if they if children walk up to your car, the proper response is shoo them away. No, go go get. go just go no. go. No, I'm writing checks. I'm adulting. Just go. Listen, yeah. it's already hard enough that I have to be an adult. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be an adult with kids nearby. Yeah. The quiet companion looked at the spokesman with a mixture of confusion and guilt on his face. He seemed in some ways shocked, not with his friend's uh, brusque manner, but that I didn't immediately just open the door. He eyed me nervously. The spokesman seemed to be a bit perturbed, too. I still was registering something wrong with both. Come on, mister, the spokesman said again. Now, we just want to go to our house. Again, bad call. Um, Mm -hmm. We're just two little boys. That really scared me. Something in the tone and diction, again, sent off the alarm bells. My mind was frantically trying to process what it was perceiving about the two figures uh, was wrong. There's still, there's still, uh, there's still eight years off from To Catch a Predator, so. Oh, yeah. This is, this, maybe this was some, um, some spec work. I felt myself digging my fingernails into my steering wheel. What movie were you going to see? I finally asked. Mortal Kombat, of course, the spokesman said. The silent one nodded in affirmation, standing a few paces behind. Oh, I said. I stole a quick glance at the marquee uh, and at the clock on my car. Mortal Kombat had been playing for an hour. Uh, The last showing of the evening. The, The silent one looked increasingly nervous. I think he saw my glances and suspected that I might be detecting something was not above board. Yeah. This, this like, whole setup is so, like, honestly ludicrous. It's ridiculous. Just the whole yeah. thing is. This whole thing is just ludicrous to me. I don't know yeah. why, but the, the, the whole... <laughs> the whole setup is just, like, listen, I'm going to go through this whole thing line by line and like I'm going to analyze every single thing two yeah. children said to me. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, come on mister, let us in. We can't get into your <laughs> get, get, we can't get in your car until you do, you know. The spokesman said soothingly, "Just let us in. We'll be gone before you know it. We'll go to our mother's house." We locked eyes. To my horror, oh. I realized I had my hand to- moving towards the door lock, which was engaged and was in the process of opening it. I pulled it away, probably a bit too violently, but it did force me to look away from the children. I turned back, 
Er, um, again, this is all this guy's saying the entire time. Why, why does he have to... Why does he have to, to add the fact that he said, er, um? He's just straight up Ron Weasley from the first Harry Potter book right now. <laughs> That's half of all of his dialogue is, er, um. Yeah. Er, is it? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of that book is him just er, umming. Yeah. A lot of it. A lot of, a lot of the series is just him being like, I'm here too! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, have... <laughs> I know wizard's chess, which is just chess. We just tell the pieces to move for us. Yeah. <laughs> it's like chess meets battleship, electronic battleship. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I offered weekly, and then my mind snapped into sharp focus. For the first time, I noticed their eyes. They were coal black. No pupils, no iris. Just staring orbs reflecting the red and white light of the marquee. At that point, I know my expression betrayed me. The silent one had a look of horror on his face, and a combination what seemed to indicate, A, the impossible had just happened, and B, we've been found out. The spokesman had, <laughs> had on what? the other hand, wore a mask of anger. Yeah. The, the, this, He's like, this... they got me. He got me. I know that this is probably the first canonical depiction of black eyed kids yeah but this does not mesh with anything i know about black eyed kids since oh yeah this just yeah. sounds like this just sounds like a really dominant kid and his his friend who just tags along all the time yeah oh yeah I, I, okay okay his eyes glittered brightly in the half light come on mister he said we won't hurt you you have to let us in we don't have a gun which is you just shouldn't say that just don't ever what just never, didn't yell, never yell. I don't have a gun, because then immediately. I don't have a gun. Yeah, <laughs> like that's what just bad looks. Uh, the last statement scared the living hell out of me because at this point, by his tone, he was plainly saying, "We don't need a gun." <laughs> Bless. But him. wait. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh. All right, all right. Wait a second. Like, what? Like, if a kid had a gun, I'd be concerned. Right. Oh yeah. But like this whole honestly if anyone has a gun I'm usually concerned but that's a whole other thing. Um <laughs> This is such like a weird touchstone point in this story like Yeah. Hey mister. I don't need a gun. You know yeah. that, right? Like my hands are registered weapons. I have my green belt, okay? <laughs> that's awesome. Like ima- like imagine I, I'm just imagining the kid has his, like, karate yeah. gi. Because at this time, Power Rangers is a thing, right? Oh, so, yes. So yes. it's entirely possible that that kid is in karate for Power Rangers. Because Power Rangers, I think, is 94, I want to say, off the top of my head. Yeah. 94, 95, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. Um, So, like, <laughs> you know that this kid had, like, if he's a real 93... Wow. Um, so you know that this kid has a a rank in a karate dojo somewhere around oh, somewhere. with a guy named, like, Keith or uh, uh, something with a hard K yeah. at the start of it, like Carl or Kenneth or something. And he's got, like, the American flag do-rag. Mm-hmm. He's got the, the red tank top, all the good stuff. Yeah. And, like, if this is a normal kid, it's like, you know – I know my I know my kata. Oh yeah. I, I I'll have you know I'm a green belt with three blue stripes. <laughs> you know what that means? That's right. I'm only five blue stripes away from being a red belt. <laughs> I forgot about the electrical tape. Yeah, I I, I forgot about the electrical tape. <laughs> 90s karate was a weird time. Oh, yeah. It was such like a super popular thing for kids, most likely yeah. because of the the, the one-two punch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles followed by Power Rangers. But, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage, you can't say that without singing it. I can. It's a rule. mainly be I can. Because my, my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles experience was the second Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, The Secret of the Ooze. So good. That featured so uh, uh, the the ninja rap. 
Yes. So, but but regardless, I, I know I've interrupted this <laughs> this shakedown by a child, but I can't imagine this shakedown of a child as a by the child as being anything other than I've been to karate class, you know. I oh, don't yeah. need guns. That's the only <laughs> thing that's popping into my head. Mm-hmm. He noticed my hand shooting down towards the gear shift. The spokesman's final words contained an anger that was complete and whole, yet contained in some respects a tone of panic. We can't come unless you tell us it's okay. Let us in. So you cut you cut out a very important part of that, Brandon. Yeah. You said you said we can't come unless you tell us it's okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to point out it's we can't come in unless you tell us okay. Yeah, there's a very, there's a I very different connotation. A significant word in there, didn't I? There's a very significant. I dropped word in something that important. Yeah, uh, it, it changes the tone of this uh, encounter considerably. Yeah. And that man's name? <sighs> yeah, Chris Hansen. Ah, oh, gotcha. Uh, so Brian Dunning of Skeptoid uh, points out that reposting of anonymous accounts involving black-eyed kids have exploded in recent years. He says that stories told by anonymous posters identified only by their internet handle, overall, the body of evidence is not a compelling one. A number of eyewitnesses claim to have called the police and had them show up, but the literature is notably devoid of the police reports that would have resulted. Many amateur researchers have tried to suggest that real-world real world explanations for the Black-Eyed Kids, full sclera contact lenses, are widely available for costumes that can make your entire eye look ba- black, and it's been suggested that perhaps some kids um, are out looking to scare people might have gotten uh, some and gone around knocking on people's doors. Although this is perfectly plausible, and in fact I have no doubt that someone at some time has tried this, it is oh, not definitely. a very good explanation for the phenomena as a whole. First, the suggestion that a sufficient number of hoaxers had done this to account for an urban legend means that someone would have eventually been captured on some security video, and that does not seem to have happened. Second, it's not a very good plan. Uh, what would the contact lens wearing kids do when someone did let them in? Wave their arms and shout boo? Probably. Yeah, probably. Like, I, I'm almost going to guarantee that that is what would happen. Like, yeah. I think that's basically what happened with 100% of uh, teenage dares. Oh, yeah. For the most part. It was like, I dare you to do X, Y, or Z. It's like, all right, I did it. I'm like the dog. It's like the dog that caught the car. Oh, yeah. What do I do now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Other natural explanations have included some conditional... Mo- my oh, my dryasis, dilation of the pupils, which can be caused by various drugs or trauma, or other things. A few authors have proposed that the strange, almost mechanical behavior of the kids might be consistent with having taken drugs that may produce my dryasis. So, so wait a second. Why are they operating from the assumption that these things are real? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's like, hey, Mister Wanna Hit, like that's how you know they're not. They're not doing drugs. Yeah. I don't know why people are suggesting that this is real, because I've always thought this was a... Like uh, an internet or legend. Internet legend thing. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I... Yeah, I, I've never... I've never really heard of Black Eyed Kids in a context outside of the internet. Right. Like, I've heard of other things in a context that's... Well, I'll, yeah. I'll say that, but there was recently, like, a, a Hulu movie about it. Mm-hmm. Um, which was okay, but it was just like weird. Yeah, oh, I got it, it. It's a weird. It's a weird. Like, it's kind of like Slender Man in a lot yeah. of ways. Yeah, it's it's like a proto Slender Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, he continues. I found this to be an even worse explanation than the contact lens hoax. First, it's purely hypothetical. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> find any example of drugs that produce both my dryasis and mechanical behavior of wanting be, to be given admittance to a house or a car. Second, eyes with dilated pupils don't look like anything with eyes, uh, don't look anything like eyes with entirely black sclera. Well, that's what you get <coughs> the uh, injections for. Oh, yeah. Here's Straight the other in... weird thing about that. So he, my, the eye doctor, like, he's doing that thing where you're, like, shining yeah, the yeah. light and he's looking straight in and he's like, so I'm looking into your, like, 
into this portion of your eye and he's describing what he's seeing but he's like like i'm looking at this and i would describe it as aqueous this is healthy i would like he's he's just very robotic and just a little bit weird about stuff (laughs) (laughs) but i learned that my right eye where the light focuses isn't on the back where it's supposed to it's like just forward of it and then Mm -hmm. in my left eye my light doesn't actually focus in any one spot. It's in like multi- like a couple multiple spots, but also it's none a, of them are in the right spot. It's suboptimal. Yeah. But it's suboptimal. hey, he's going to give me an advantage over other people. So that's good. Listen, I want cyborg guys. Hey, go to uh lens crafters. I- I'm telling you right now, um I I don't think that I trust Elon Musk with anything, so I'm not going to go with his uh his cyber brain. Yeah. But, but, if there was ever a chance for me to go full cyborg. I want to be, so, like, that's what I tell people I'd is that I'm never going to die because I'm just, as things fail, going to be fully replaced piece by piece by robot bits. That's like, my plan. Uh, yeah, that's my plan. Like, mm-hmm. uh, the X from uh, John Dies at the End, which is actually really like Archimedes' boat or something like that. Uh, Theseus's ship. Theseus's ship. All right, yeah. I I have that I have that memorized because my favorite thing in the world is to quote that John dies at the end bit. Oh yeah. So it comes up occasionally, not that yeah. often, but occasionally. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, my my plan is to uh, Major Kusanagi it, right? Who's and, Major Kusanagi? Uh, Makoto from oh, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah. Uh, and transcend the need for a cyber brain and just be a internet creature that happens to inhabit a body. Yeah, that seems fun. That's my that's my long term goal. Yeah. Um I don't know if that's going to happen. But part of the reason I'm recording myself is in the off chance that uh my recordings manifest into a consciousness. <laughs> that's a scary say thought. It. I can't even say it and yeah. be be serious, but <laughs> it's just that, that that's like that's such an anime plot. Oh yeah, <laughs> like God. <sighs> <sighs> uh. <sighs> <sighs> All right. Uh, second, yes, with dilated pupil. Oh, never mind. I just read that bit. Um, yeah. So let's return to one of the most important skeptical mantras. Before trying to explain anything strange, first make sure that the strange event actually ever happened. With the literature devoid of any testable non-anecdotal evidence that black-eyed kids actually exist, we must consider the possibility that the origin is folklore, and this can be pretty hard to establish, since finding an entirely folkloric account doesn't necessarily prove that something wasn't also happening in the real world somewhere. Researchers have looked into this and have not come up Uh, empty-handed. Tales of black-eyed kids are found widespread on the internet and in paranormal books, but only from 1998 forward. The earliest published account anyone's been able to find was posted to the internet uh, Usenet news group Alt.Magic on July 30th, 1997 by Brian Bethel. And to be fair, I think that he did it before 1996 and then reposted it, adding more details in 1997. Yeah, that that seems to make sense. Now, here's my real question. Is yes. Is Brian Bethel a real human being? Uh, yes. We're 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 positive he's a real human being. Yeah, so Okay, I, I include... found his Twitter. I found his Twitter. Okay, he's got a Twitter and he also like started writing stuff and it, um someone posited that he wrote Black Eyed Kids, then he wrote a revised version of Black Eyed Kids, then he started writing more like paranormal stuff that he was like testing the waters. Yeah, this 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 stinks to me of somebody who's writing uh uh this stinks to me of someone who's like trying to to write something like that. Like, you know, yeah. like trying to break into writing paranormal literature or something like that. Yeah. Um not that it's bad, I'm just saying like well, here's the thing. I do I do find it to be a bad thing if anyone is like trying to pass off something as fact when it's not, yeah. but like this definitely screams writing prompt in the same way that we can I clearly identify the Slender Man starting off as a writing prompt. 
Yeah. Like. <laughs> I, I don't know. There, there's a yeah. lot. Like, also, the other th- Let's see. What are all the things that, that like, we know for a fact started as, like, a writing prompt? There's Slender Man. There's The Rake. Anything um, from SCP. Anything. Well, everything from SCP is guaranteed, but that we... That they're not like trying to be coy about it. Yeah. Uh, in credit credit to SCP, they're not being coy. Yeah. And they're not doing that whole like, oh no, it's totally real mm-hmm. bullshit. I mean, they'll yeah. role play on their site, but they won't role play off the site. You know, yeah. they'll break character. Yeah. Um, I forgot about the rake. I'm trying to think of what other stuff there was out there. Um, there's also what was the there was a good one that I was that was on the tip of my tongue. Russian sleep experiment. Oh, I didn't know about that one. No, that's that's a that's a creepy pasta where it's yeah. like, oh, strange things happen if people stay awake for too long and blah blah, yeah. blah 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 blah. Even though like the time frame that people were staying awake for was like way lower than the the longest time that someone's been awake for. Mm-hmm. The uh the Ballad of Shank Daddy X. The Ballad of Shank Daddy X, yes, yes. Well mm-hmm. no, that's actually true. Oh yes. That one was real. Mm-hmm. That one was real. Let's yeah. let's Let's be real. That mm. one was actually a thing that happened. Yes. Um, he did it with his bare hands. With his bare hands. He did. And I'm also pretty sure that he had a uh, a Frankenstein friend at some point. I, oh, I don't know. It got, it got weird. It got weird mm. towards the end. Um, yeah. He definitely played. I can guarantee he played Metal Gear Solid. That's oh, all yeah. I know. <laughs> Oh um, man. I think <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't I'm having a hard time recalling any like there's big in like high school or middle school. I All mean all the creepy pastas. Like see here's the thing in high school and middle school I I didn't really talk about the weird shit that I Yeah. <laughs> that I read a lot on the internet. I mean mm-hmm. mostly it was Halo. Mostly it was Halo? Okay. Mostly life was Halo. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Halo lasted for a while. Oh, yes. I think it I think it lasted from Halo 2 all the way to senior year. Yeah. Pretty much. Um, but, I mean, it, but, but that was partially because it had the whole whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Creepypasta is a website I just found out. Creepypasta.com. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't know that. So and now I know what you're doing the rest of the day. I'm looking through this now. Tales from the gas station. Average rating nine nine point one three. Part one. At the edge of the at the part one. At the edge of our town, there's a shitty gas station that's open twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. If you were to go inside, you'd see row after row of off brand dot dot dot. Okay. Y- yeah, that's. Creepypasta all have the same. Creepypasta have a common writing style to them. Yeah. I've always been fascinating with the unknown. Mm-hmm. Now that right there could have been the start to about thirty creepypasta. Oh yes. On several occasions, my interest in the supernatural has taken me some of the most prestigious seats of learning in the entire United Kingdom. <laughs> what? <laughs> Consider this a warning. I, mm-hmm. I'm just reading a bunch. I didn't stop running. These are just the the first, uh, the first like sentences, and they're all yeah. ghost stories? Question mark. Nah, we don't have anything like that around here. <laughs> Proceeds to tell a ghost story. Oh man, creepy pasta is such an art form. Mm-hmm. It's like a. Uh, is it's it like an art form though? Videos. It's like new ground videos. Oh, okay, that kind of art form, or uh, yeah. or uh, was it Joe Cartoon? Was the other one from the day? Oh my god, did I tell you? I think I sent you a picture of it when I was at that like, um, that... which is still up. Yeah, it is. It's kind of fucked up. Although that being said, um, he's just Flash leaning onto the away. one thing. Flash is going yeah. away. That, I'm not Flash sad is going about away. That. That's good. LeBron James in a blender. Wow. He's wow. really leaned into that uh, in a blender. In thing a blender, still. yeah. Wow. 
Because the I'm first just looking... one was like, what was it? It was Superfly, Gerbil in a Microwave, Frog in a Blender, and then, then like that dog Stumpy. And those are like the first four that he did. And he's Jeez. still leaning into that. I'm just amazed that this still this site still exists. Me too. I Googled it and did not expect it to be up still. The numbers on these videos is, are way lower than I was expecting. Given the age. Yeah. Oh, is that him? There's a video of him. Oh, where? Uh, click on videos, all videos, and then Circus Freaks and I Ain't Got No Money are videos of him, I think. He's like a dude with a guitar and like oh, gray yeah. hair. Yeah. And it looks like he lives in a lo- like a like one of those log cabins that are up near Socrates. Yeah. Weird. Huh. Okay. I just weird. I I, fa- I was going to say I found um I found Joe Cartoon um toilet paper recent issue like what? in the past couple years. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. It's really weird. But not exactly unexpected given given the nature of uh uh joe cartoon yeah there's a lot of joe cartoon things that are gone though i'm gonna say oh yeah there's like, stuff that i know he had up there that's not there still <laughs> no it's not there anymore yeah. joe two shacks be with you are, oh, are we just browsing? Yeah, just browsing? I, yeah, I think I think it's time to end the episode because okay. I I've been <laughs> I've been distracted by Joe Cartoon. Um, <laughs> we can probably cut like half of that out. Uh. <laughs> All right, as always, uh, if you liked the podcast, why just ignore the yeah? <laughs> just ignore the Joe Cartoon bit. Um, you can follow us on cryptopediacast dot com. We've got an Instagram. At CryptopediaCast and a Twitter at CryptopediaCast. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want to email us, CryptopediaCast at gmail.com or us at CryptopediaCast. Uh, we have a Patreon. Uh, I think it's about time we thank our Jackalope level supporters. Let me just make sure. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So our Jackalopes right now are Clay Sinclair. And uh, Marty Von Party, who gave us some suggestions for our episode 52 thing. Oh, in the, yeah. In the Discord, and that was pretty great. It was a perfect suggestion. It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to figure out how to work it in, but it was great. <laughs> um, we also have a Facebook group. I, don't, I haven't posted anything of that in a while. Yeah, I've, I've been quiet online for a while. Yeah, I, I've been mainly just doing Twitter stuff, and um, that's about it. Uh, if you enjoyed the podcast, be sure to rate, review, subscribe. Uh, I think we got a new subscriber on, on Podbean, um, mm-hmm. so that's pretty cool. Yep. Uh, if you have any monster requests or stories, be sure to send them in. Um, if you have a monster request and you have a source for it, that's phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real. The struggle is real. Oh, man. Uh, you could find me on Instagram at donkey underscore hands. My website is boyerb.com. My email is brandon at cryptopediacast.com. And my Twitter is at crypto brandon. Uh, I did that thing where I, I sunk down in my chair. Uh, um, if you want to follow me, I'm mew2057 on Instagram. JF Dunham on Twitter. My website is John Dunham Games, and my email is John at CryptopediaCast.com. Our art was done by Tom Hill. You can find him on Instagram at Thomas Michael Hill. His website is greatergloryco.com, and his email is Tom Mike Hill at gmail.com. As always, I'm John. I'm Brandon. Oh man, I had to burp. Uh things are gonna get weird. Yeah. <laughs>